Coast Mountain College, my learning happens beyond the classroom. Open spaces open my mind to so many possibilities. Campuses are filled with ways to connect. I am supported and mentored. We work together to help create a sustainable future for us all. Immersed in the beauty of this place through rushing rivers and jagged mountain peaks, I can explore my adventurous lifestyle and learn by living it. Coast Mountain College, elevate your experience. All right, so this is our province of British Columbia. Uh, if you see, the regions are numbering. And in number two, this is Lower Mainland. This is Vancouver. So we are not located in Vancouver. We are located here in number six, which is the Skeener region. Okay, so from the point of entry, which is Vancouver, um, we have three campuses that are, uh, that are accepting uh, international students. So we have campuses at the city of Prince Rupert, uh, Terrace, and Let's Meter. So from Vancouver, you take 1.5 hour flight, okay, going to our three campuses. And, but of course we do have five, but only three, okay, caters to international students. And of course, in the Northwest region, you get to experience all four seasons. Okay, so um, this is how it, it looks like during winter time. Um, if you see down here, it, this are our um, Filipino Korean students having their snow day, um, but they are already um, they've completed their program as a postgraduate college, and right now they're on to their PGWP journey. Okay, so this is fall. So right now, your current intake ngayon is fall. So um, very Instagrammable siya. Okay, and then um, summer, okay, in the northwest region. Okay, so this is the top view shot of um, the city of Terrace. So if you notice, um, even dun sa, sa, sa mga previous slides natin, no? um, the northwest region is actually it's a coastal mountain region. No? So if you can imagine um, Baguio, Benguet, ayan, so mountainous region siya. And uh, the, the beauty of the Northwest region talaga is yung outdoor adventure talaga. So um, if you are into um, biking, hiking, trekking, ganyan. Um, and the uh, you know, the, the Northwest region is also um, surrounded by lakes, rivers, ocean. So, um, if sawa na kayo sa busy city life, you know, um, and uh, you want uh, a bit of a laid back lifestyle, and yun nga, you love nature, then Coast Mountain College is for you. So this is our terrace campus. So uh, right now, um, fall intake na yun, no? um, September uh, to um, September to April. So um, if you go to, uh, if you will take the fall intake, which you will be studying at the terrace campus, which is the main campus. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn you to our terrace campus.
Hi, my name is Jessica Scaife and I'm part of the recruitment team here at Coast Mountain College and today we're going to take you on a tour of the Terrace Campus. I'm standing in front of the main registration building which is called Wapsiam, also known as House of Spruce. This is where you will find our student services team, our admissions officers, our records department and it's where you can register for classes. It's also where most of our regular classes are offered. Now we're standing in Wapsiam and this is where you'll find our student services team which consists of educational advisors, learning assistance specialists, accessibility service coordinators as well as the recruitment team. Okay so this is our admissions and registration area of the college and this is where you can come and pay for your tuition, you can pay for your dorm rent, you can order transcripts, we have our admissions officers down the hallway as well as our financial aid officer and our student records team. So also in the House of Spruce we offer our health programs. We have two state-of-the-art health labs and we offer a healthcare assistant program, an access to practical nursing program, as well as an RN nursing program. This is one of two health labs at Coast Mountain College. This is our biology lab, so our anatomy and physiology classes as well as our micro microbiology classes take place in this lab. This is our second science lab and this is for our chemistry and physics programs as well as our geography and geology programs. This is our yurt. Its circular design lends itself to active learning and class discussion. It's located in the courtyard between Wapsom and Wapak. This is our campus store. It's located in Wapak, also known as House of Birch. It's where you can get your textbooks and supplies for your classes, as well as Coast Mountain College swag. Wapak is also where you'll find our student union, as well as the cafeteria. Okay, this is our Wapgatsap community house, and inside you'll see world-class art that was created by our Frida Deezing students, as well as instructors. Our longhouse is home to our First Nations Access Coordinators, and it's where we host orientation, campus feasts, as well as uh, cultural activities on campus. This is Lot Frida Deezing. This is home to our First Nations Fine Arts program. This program is a carving program that transfers into third year at Emily Carr's Bachelor of Fine Arts. This is our Wap Amgam, also known as House of Cedar. This is where you'll find our Cedar Cafe, our library, as well as our fitness facility and our trade shops. So we offer electrical, carpentry, automotive, heavy duty mechanics and welding, and many more trades at this campus. This is our fitness center, where you will find a variety of workout equipment, including free weights and spin bikes, as well as treadmills and rowing machines. Thanks for joining me on our tour of the Terrace campus today. If you have any questions about applying or registering for courses at Coast Mountain College, please email recruitment at coastmountaincollege.ca. That's our um, Terrace campus. So that's the main campus. Okay, so this is our Prince Rupert campus. It's located by the coast. Um, so during winter or January, late students will be studying here. Um, the good thing about uh, in this campus is that um, it's just a uh, walking distance to uh, downtown area. Yeah, okay. And this is the man, our uh, Smithers campus. So uh, for spring or May uh, intake, uh, dito yung mga students mag-aaral. Just a trivia, no? Um, the Northwest um, uh, people, okay, they go here to Smithers um, to have their um, winter sports. Yeah, and so yung popular sila sa, sa mga skiing, ganyan. So they go here okay, during winter. And this is um, our, one of our student um, life activities. Well, actually this one, um, this is the orientation week, okay? Last September. So ito yung mga Pinoy's natin, no? Um, they're uh, studying for fall. 2021. So, kanina, di ba, um, in the video, then the new longhouse. So, ito yon. This is the longhouse where they had their orientation week. Yeah. So, our Pinoy Fall 2021 students, they came from different um, places. So, on Visayas, Mindanao. Okay. So, yeah. And we're um, looking forward to more um, Filipino students. Okay. So, at Coast Mountain College. Okay, so these are the programs that we offer okay, for our international students. Uh, so we do have post-degree diplomas, university credits, certificates, and diplomas.
Okay, so we have our A's, our Applied Coastal Ecology. It's a three-year diploma. So available siya sa lahat ng indigent location. Um, but yung, yung A's particularly, eh, ang highlight nito is uh, uh, Prince Rupert kasi nga it's by the coast. No? So if you are into environmental science, yan, more on ecology, natural resources management, then um, you can go for our A's. Uh, program. We have our um, business diplomas. So um, if you want to specialize in accounting, general management, or human resources, on to your second year, yan pipili na kayo ng concentration. Okay, so um, right now, available pa po ang um, business program namin sa May, okay, it, it, for May 2022 or um, spring 2022 intake namin. Available po, po siya. And of course, that's in Smithers campus. Okay, post-degree diploma business. Um, this is actually the, the most, um, well, actually the, the in-demand uh, program ng mga Pinoy natin, no? the post-degree diploma. And uh, this is actually the lowest tuition fee sa lahat ng programs that we are offering for our international students. Okay, so um, of course, uh, post degree diploma. This is for uh, those who have completed their bachelor's degree. So eleven up. Ito no ng kanilang um, bachelor's degree, and um, uh, right now, um. Most of our students uh, terrace campus, okay, uh, ito fall 2021. Most of their programs are, ano, yung post degree diploma in business. Now, ECCE, we do not offer this for fall 2022, but we are offering social service worker, um, one year certificate, and a two year diploma. So, ito, during September lang siya ino-offer sa Terrace Campus. West Coast Culinary, uh, it's a tier diploma. This is our newest um, program of free for Philippine market. So, ang intake niya every August, then of course, sa Terrace Campus lang siya. So, um, um, per year, uh, uh, and the second year, mas, mas mababa na siya. Okay, so the good thing about uh, West Coast Culinary is that 95% um, of the students' time happens in the kitchen. So very hands-on. Okay? And of course, this is a paid internship. And definitely, um, culinary industry is yan talaga sa mga um, in-demand industries sa Canada. Engineering, um, one-year certificate. So this fits our uh, yung mga K-12 graduates natin. So for those um, K-12 graduates this uh, fall or for, for, for next year, no, um, you will learn all about the basics of engineering here. Okay. And uh, once you're done with this, you will be talking to our um, uh, student advisor and then uh, you can talk about kung ano yung magiging specialization year and institution and program of your choice. So if you're going to take this engineering and then you would want to specialize uh, um, engineering, specific engineer, field of engineering, um, then your subjects or courses will be transferred on to um, your uh, the following year. Okay, makikredit siya yung mga subjects that you have taken on first year. And this is only offered sa Terrace Campus. Okay, University Credit Program, we have associate degrees in Arts and Science. So, um, if let's say in the future, you would want to have a university degree sa Canada, kasi mahal, mahal po kasi ang, ang, ang university degree sa Canada. So, Coast Mountain College offers uh, associate degrees in arts and science. So, um, 
you'll have two years with Coast Mountain College. And then later on, if you decide to continue your university degree, um, instead of taking it four years, two years na lang po. Okay, so that will still um, equivalent to a four-year bachelor's degree. So meron ka ng um, university degree, diploma, meron ka pang um, associate degree diploma sa Coast Mountain College. Okay, so one of the highlights of Coast Mountain College is our experiential place-based learning or what we call field school. So the uh, sa Pinas, it's like uh, summer school. Uh, yeah, summer class. Parang ganon. So the twist is that um, for two weeks, you'll go out of your classroom and depend sa program ninyo, yung magiging location ninyo. So um, here, sa picture na to, this was taken pre-pandemic 2019. So um Itong si student, they went up to the glacier, okay? So, uh, they, they, they had fun, okay? So, for two weeks, you're gonna have fun, but at the same time, you'll gain credits. So, ito, once na nag-open yung registration, talaga mabilis ma mapuno kasi the students are very excited sa field school, okay? So, definitely, by next year, umaw open na to because, um, you know, currently, face-to-face uh, -face learning na po sa school. Okay, so um, why choose Coast Mountain College? So, we are a small class size, okay? Um, the average class uh, class size namin is between 12 to 32. The maximum is 35. So, there's really more one-on-one -on -one time with your instructors. Next is that we um, we are connected small communities. Um, as a matter of fact, we honor and uh, we, we honor and respect our indigenous people, our First Nation people. And um, so because of, of, of uh, our small communities, people are well connected. Okay? And um, our Filipino community is already growing okay, uh, as a Northwest region. Prince Rupert, Terrace, and Smithers. So um, later on, we'll we'll show you know yung yung ating video with our um, Pinoy student. Okay, ninety five percent of international students remain in the region. Why? Because they have found jobs. Okay. Um, we at Coast Mountain College, we want to make sure that um, once our students have completed their program. There's job opportunity. So if you notice kanina, no, we only have limited um, programs. Because these, those are the, the programs that our, our, our region needs. Okay? So ina-align natin yan. Okay? Sa kung ano yung um, need ng, ng, ng Northwest region. Kaya may job opportunities for our international students. Okay? Second is that they have brought their families with them. Okay? So the Northwest region is very conducive in raising a family. Uh, as I've mentioned, uh, if, if you want a provincia feels, no? if you love nature, if you don't um, if you don't want to be in the uh, city life na, no? away from traffic and all, and you want a laid back lifestyle. Um, and you enjoy the nature, um, being with your family and friends, then um, Northwest region um, is something that is going to interest you. And of course, um, Coast Mountain College is uh, a DLI, okay? a designated learning institution. Okay? So the quality of education is um, hindi siya nalalayo okay sa mga colleges of bigger cities okay next is that of course low cost of living important yan especially for um, our international students okay so um the housing is affordable okay the food's cheap um, and you're gonna love basically you're gonna love the region okay and 
we are one of the lowest tuition rates in UC. Later on, we'll tackle more about our tuition rates. Okay, so if you are a uh, K-12 graduate or a college graduate, we did not require IELTS, okay? Um, kasi na-complete nyo naman yung math 12 and English 12 specifically. Now, for some places, we also do not require na yung mga undergraduates natin, yung mga, um, mga kababayan natin na mga Filipino students natin na complete na yung at least first to two years nila sa college, we can actually check on that and uh, and we might not require you to ano, to provide uh, an English test. Okay? Kasi yung, ang importante kasi dyan yung, yung um, basic English and math sa, sa college. Okay? And for those na mga old curriculum, uh, tayo katulad tayo na no? old curriculum ng high school natin, um, then yes, uh, as long as you have completed your college or at least first two years in college, um, then we might consider that one. Okay. okay, admission process is very easy. Um, we do it online at EduPlanner BC. So this is the platform. Ayan, so just search on that Coast Mountain College. Mabilis lang yan, mga, two, mga four page lang po yan, and then you're done. Okay, there's a non-refundable application fee of 100 Canadian dollars. However, okay, because uh, we are with Gateway to Canada, then they'll be able to waive the application fee for you guys. Okay, so once we receive your online application, we will then um, ask you to send for your to send in your um, scan documents like your transcript of records, your college diploma, if high school diploma is available, well and good. Um, yeah, and then we will evaluate that. And once we um, done with the evaluation and we see that you have been approved of the program, then we will be asking you to pay a non-refundable tuition deposit of 7,000 Canadian dollars. So that includes your first SEM tuition and your temporary insurance from Garden. So we want to make sure that while you are processing, sorry, while you are processing your own um, insurance, you're already secured, okay? Insured kayo kasi mahal po ang medical sa, sa Canada. So, um, you might want to ask, um, what if, I know, I mean, what if um, something happens, like uh, uh, we got refused, which is, uh, of course we do not hope, no? Um, Marine refund by intuition deposit? Definitely yes, okay? If the reason is um, visa refusal, then we will refund your intuition deposit. We will just less. Uh, 200 Canadian dollars for admin security. Now, if in the in the event na smooth naman siya lahat, mo, uh, then uh, we will process as soon as we receive your tuition deposit, we will then process your letter of acceptance. And once you receive your LOA, definitely Gateway to Canada will be helping you reach your dreams no? in, in assisting you sa inyong student visa. On campus housing, um, malapit na malapit na po matapos. Um, I mean, a new west uh, housing, student housing, so terrace campus. Um, so, yeah, for those of you who you know want to have a feel more of the area, if you are going to take the fall 2022, um, then you might want to opt for the on campus housing. However, our Filipino students are actually not in the on-campus housing. They're actually living in the downtown area near their um, part-time jobs. So, um, the yung mga room rentals, um, average then is nasa 500 to 800. And then, um, our our uh, housing, our housing is um, 
averaging 900 to 1800 19 to 800 and um mga 2 to 3 bedroom housing house na yon so right now um meron tayo mga group of um students okay we have a group of students uh they're actually renting a uh, bedroom house okay two to three bedroom house so mga nasa na mga nasa four three to four um to five sila and they're sharing no so um very cheap okay so yeah um, you might want to consider that Okay, so uh, in the Northwest region, um, a lot of uh, students are asking, Oh, Anna, baka naman remote na manjad, ganyan. So, hindi naman po, because um, Northwest region is an emerging economy. Okay, um, right now, the population pa lang ng terrace is about 18,000. Um, Smithers, uh, and and uh, Prince Rupert nasa around 10 to 13,000 pa lang. So, um, we need people. Okay, so, um, and just uh, another trivia, no? uh, LNG Canada, LNG Canada is actually the world's largest natural and gas company. It is located in Kitimat, okay? That is 45 minutes away from there. So, napakalaking um, company po yan and they, they really need a lot of um, people no they're offering a lot of job opportunities and we have students who have graduated from CMPM na nag work na din sa LNG okay so here naman um we complete naman po ang facilities and amenities no sa so northwest region we have uh, malls churches uh, recreational centers yan mga um, mga restaurants, yung mga fast food chains, and all that stuff. Um, of course, definitely, you know, um, if you are into biking, hiking, trekking, mountain climbing, yan, yung mga outdoor adventures, these are the highlights of Northwest region. And here, some of our students, okay, our Pinoy students, they're actually having their, I mean, they're doing their part time jobs here. Okay, so um, here's our international program fee per year. Okay, so uh, between 13 to 15,000, 10 courses. So, depende po, no, sa program nyo. Um, 10 courses in one year. So, 5 courses or 5 subjects per SEM. So, limawa, fall, fall kapapasok, no? So, your first SEM will be from September to December. And then your second SEM is January to April. So, that's already your one year. Okay. And then on to your second year, which is your last year. And for some program, it requires additional elective courses, which requires, of course, additional fees. And then textbook supplies around 2000. That is the maximum. You know, our Filipino students, what they do is that they actually buy used books from former students. So, para makatipid. Yun yan ang mga Pinoy eh. Very maabilidad. No? So, total um, total per year, uh, averaging mga 17 to 19,000 okay, uh, per year. So, very ano pa rin po siya, affordable pa rin po siya. Okay? Cheaper um, than uh, sa mga colleges sa bigger cities. And of course, this may subject to change. Okay, so all of our um, programs are PGWB eligible. So if you notice, um, most of our programs in the offer, no, sa Philippine market natin are two-year programs. Uh, because with a two-year program, that is equivalent up to three years, three, three years post-graduation work permit. Now, we all know naman po that, you know, our, our end goal talaga naman is um, to become a PR, no? a permanent resident of Canada. And with uh, three years post-graduation work permit, definitely you can um, apply for your PR. So actually, habang nagpa-plan pa lang kayo ng, ng, ng international um, uh, ng, ng student um, pathway ninyo, no? student pa lang, you really have to plan na for your future. 
So, um, yeah. And uh, we already have our students who are already on to their uh, PGWP journey. Okay, part-time work, 20 hours per week for a full-time student. So, um, during holidays like Christmas breaks or summer breaks, uh, inter ano po, unlimited, okay, unlimited ang, ang, stud ang, uh, ang working hours for the students. And I am happy to say that just this June, um, nag increase po yung ating RE rate from 1465 to 15.20 per hour. So that is just the minimum wage. Okay, so um, we have um, Pinoy's that are Pinoy students na earning more than the minimum, depende po sa, sa uh, part time job. And I'm happy to say that um, our Filipino students are very happy that they are in the region and that they are uh, working, I'm uh, sorry, studying at Coast Mountain College because last year at the height of pandemic, our students were able, were able to keep their jobs. So um, that is something that they're very thankful, you know, and um, we also have students na tipa sabi ko na mention ko na nasa PGW na sila um na keep sila ng kanilang part-time jobs so uh, we have some na uh, from from being uh, a customer service uh, front uh, liner or mga crew natin sila before sa sa uh, fast food ngayon uh, supervisor position na sila. Okay, so inabsorb sila ng part-time job nila. So ngayon, PGW na sila. Okay, um, and, uh, but I will, I, I will advise, no, um, the tip talaga is that you uh, prepare na your one-year tuition fee, no, um, para wala na kayong iisipin for your first year. Because, um, your part-time job will not suffice sa pagbayad uh, uh, ng tuition fee. So, um, it would be best na yung first year, your first um, year tuition fee is already prepared, safe na siya. Para, um, you know, once yung holiday break niya, especially the summer break, you know, our students, um, kwento nila sa akin, na, Anna, we were able to uh, save up na for our second uh, tuition fee for second year. Kasi nga, unlimited hours yung summer break. So, nitong summer, no? So, ang summer is from May to August. So, three to four months. So, imagine unlimited hours po yan. So, yun, nakaipon na sila for their second um, year. And some, they, you know, saved up for their uh, personal wants na nila, no? So, ganon. And, uh, well, most especially if you have your spouse or partner with you who will be able to help you out sa, sa tuition. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, here's our uh, student uh, services. Um, I'd like to emphasize you adding learning assistant specialist, okay? Our LAS uh, team. So, if our students are having difficulty with their um, homework assignments, essay writing, uh, they'll just have to message our LAS. Um, so, within 24 to 48 hours, they'll be responding to, to the student's um, inquiry. No? So, yeah. So, at least, uh, merong, uh, uh, we have LAS to uh, help our students. Okay, so here's the man, our, um, uh, let's watch our International Student March sa kanyang journey. Hi, my name is Marjo Lubalili from Uzami City, Misami, Occidental, Philippines. I am an international student taking a post-degree business diploma at Coast Mountain College. It is my dream to come in Canada and I have I have given the opportunity to study at Coast Mountain College 
and I want to experience how to be a um, international student. I came here with my husband and I have two kids that has been stuck in the Philippines due to COVID and I have my aunt here who lives over like 20 years. I personally work at A&W so it's a fast food restaurant. I choose um, A&W uh, because I work before at a fast food restaurant way back home. We arrived here in Terrace days after when they locked the border. We did like self-isolate for 14 days. So we travel like away from like people. So we went um, driving for like six to eight hours and we got to see bears, caribou, deer, and moose as well. Every experience that I had in Canada are memorable. It's my first time to see the snow. It's my first time to drive on a four-wheel vehicle. <laughs> and like, it's because I um, I love to travel and like go on adventure that I haven't experienced way back home because it's so expensive. It was not hard for us because there are a lot of Filipinos and international students um, who's living in Terrace. And I don't feel like homesick. It's because like I have friends like who came from the place where I can communicate with the same language. Terrace is the best place that I could recommend for international students to start. The cost of living is so cheap and there are a lot of Filipinos to help you to start. All right, so that is Marge. Um... Hi, my name is Marge Lubalili from Uzan. So um currently uh si Marge is ano uh, she's supposed to complete her uh post degree diploma next year pa pero dahil tinuloy-tuloy niya yung studies niya even summer um the, the graduate lang niya this August um so na complete niya na yung post degree diploma niya and right now uh She's on to her PGWP journey. So, uh, di ba na mention niya kanina that she's uh, working sa ENW as part time. So, ngayon, uh, inabsorb na siya ng, PGW, ng ENW. So, she's on to her supervisory position. So, yeah. Okay. Ito naman, uh, let's watch Jasper from uh, Prince Rupert Campus. I'm Jasper, and I'm from the Philippines. I'm a post-degree business administration student at Coast Mountain College, Prince Rupert Campus. Coming to Canada during a pandemic was an adventure for me. There may have been extra documentation and screenings, but I did enjoy having quiet airports and extra seats to myself. It felt like business class. The best thing about studying at Coast Mountain College and in Prince Rupert is probably the warmth and kindness of the community, as well as the rich nature and amazing outdoor activities like biking, hiking trails, and camping that you can actually enjoy. Living off campus is amazing and affordable. If you have a car, you can get anywhere in around 10 to 15 minutes. The public bus also runs on schedule, which makes areas fairly accessible. The college has a comprehensive curriculum that I believe will serve as a good foundation when starting a business. The campus is at the heart of the town and fairly close to the gym, the mall, the municipal hall, and amazing local shops. Due to the pandemic restrictions, we really can't stay in campus, but even so, my favorite place to unwind and do some reading is the park closest to the school. The site is just breathtaking and relaxing. I am currently involved with the mentorship program of the Prince Rupert and District Chamber of Commerce and it has greatly helped me settle, meet new people virtually and physically, as well as learn from the mentors and the people of the local business community. To say that being an international student is amazing and fun is an understatement. Alright, so that is Jasper uh, from Prince Rupert Campus. So, um, yeah, you can also check uh, my Facebook page, Anna Pocong Coast Mountain College, Philippines, for more um, 
uh, details about Coast Mountain College or yung mga uh, upcoming uh, programs that we are offering for fall 2022. All right, so thank you so much, Gateway to Canada. Okay, thank you for your okay. presentation too, ma'am. So, um, proceed na po tayo sa ating Q&A session. So, um, for our attendees and to our Facebook Live viewers, if may mga questions or concerns po kayo, please enter lang sa ating Q&A box below for our attendees and sa comment section sa ating Facebook Live viewers. Okay. Um, okay. So far, um, while we wait for our questions po, um, para, uh, para at least for warm-up lang. Um, just to ask lang po, Ms. Anna, do you accept or does uh, Coast Mountain College accept um, for the uh, old curriculum high school graduate? Okay, so for our old uh, curriculum, ang program that we are offering is yung uh, culinary namin. Okay, so we accept uh, we accept uh, students na uh, grade 10 or yung old curriculum sa aming culinary. Kasi mm -hmm. um, sa old curriculum, uh, are you talking about like yung mga yung old curriculum high school graduate lang? Graduate? Um, yes. If that's the case, uh, so equivalent siya na parang grade 10, no? Ngayon, currently grade 10. So yeah, uh, culinary, West Coast culinary, we, we accept um old high school uh curriculum okay uh thanks for that miss anna for clarification po um so far sa ating mga attendees baka po may mga other uh questions kayo or concerns para at least um uh, ma-address po natin siya okay tin uh, add ko lang din no mm -hmm. um our fall 2022 slots okay will be uh, available on october 15 and so for your, all of you are interested just um message gateway to canada um some mga available uh programs uh that we are offering sa this coming fall 2022 but at the same time our may 2022 slots are still available pa po. Okay, so for you guys who are interested naman to study this this May 2022, then yeah, just uh, message team and her team uh, for uh, your interest to study this spring 2022. Okay, thanks for that, Miss Anna. Um, just a question lang po. Um, how much yung sa minimum uh, tuition deposit for uh, to accept yung sa offer po? Okay, the minimum, well, the initial deposit is seven thousand Canadian dollars um, to uh, get an LOE. So um, that includes the initial deposit includes the first uh, semester tuition fee and the temporary insurance from guard. Okay, um, there's a question um regarding for the insurance po. Um, how about yung sa pag-add ng insurance for the dependent po? Um, that one, you have to apply that po there. So, once you're already in in Canada or in BC or in Paris, um, hindi po kasi siya included sa, sa program fee ng estudyante. So, the, the temporary insurance that is just only for the student. So, if you have dependents po, it will be applied po, okay, sa, sa Canada na po, once you're already there. You can actually apply for the, uh, for the insurance of mga dependents. Okay, thank you for that, Miss Anna. Um, so far, um, sa mga attendees po natin, baka may mga other questions or sa ating uh, Facebook Live viewers para at least uh, ma-address po natin siya. Um, to ask po Ms. Anna, ano aside sa post-degree diploma ng uh, business uh, administration po, ano yung uh, second uh, popular program sa international students po? 
Okay, the you know, you other popular program is our um, university credit, the associate degrees. Ayon. So um, um, because we have some students na ano then na uh, what you call it um interested din sila to have a university degree in the in the future. Also our culinary um tumataas na yung demand for that. Um kasi kaka-launch lang namin this come this fall 2021. And um and then also the um the ECCE pero hindi siya offered for fall 2022. Um but the social service work, uh, kasi parang community service din siya. So, mm -hmm. this also fits for yung mga teachers natin, nurses, yeah, for, for SSW. And in-demand industry din kasi siya sa Canada. Okay. Uh, yung sa associate uh, program niyo po, um, that also uh, accept na po, or ina-accept niyo na yung sa mga K-12 graduates natin dito, right? Yes. Yes, definitely. Oo. Um, we actually have some K-12 graduates um na taking um associate degrees ngayon doon. Okay. Uh, thanks for that Miss Anna. Um there's a question uh pag natapos po ba yung sa 2 years post degree diploma is equal po ba sa 3 years PGW? Uh for postgraduate work permit po if uh ito po is will depend doon sa duration ng sa studies niyo po. So if you'll be studying for 1 year ang inyong postgraduate work permit is equivalent for one year. And if yes. you'll be studying for uh, two years, uh, minimum na receive nyo po is two years, and then maximum is yung three years. Pero um, yung sa three years, uh, ito is sasabihin na lang natin na hindi siya our discretion siya yung sa visa officer. Pero if you'll be, uh, or mas malaki yung advantage, if you'll be studying for two years straight, para magkaroon ka noon sa three years na postgraduate work permit. Actually, teen, most of our Pinoy's talaga, they're they're taking two year two year diplomas talaga. Mm -hmm. Para at least ah, oh, yun kasi yung mas may high maximize chance. Maximize kasi nila oo, yung, yung three years na post graduation work permit. Okay. Um, there's another question po. Um, there was a program for business accounting. How good is their education for accounting and on terrace? Not sure for this. Uh, okay. And is there a jobs for accounting in terrace? Yes. Um, the the business uh, diploma yung mga concentration natin. As I mentioned kanina, no, yung ating um, business diploma we have three concentrations so so either accounting human resource and management um definitely po okay definitely po uh, there are job opportunities for that and also once you um complete the program let's say yung accounting we have our uh, uh department no, so school your career uh, department that is a Coast Mountain College will who will be assisting you for your um, careers after your program. Okay, so um, I I believe I've sent Gateway Gateway to Canada, your international view book 2022. There you can actually also see that sa aming, um sa aking Facebook page. Um, you will learn more about. Uh, you know, everything about the Northwest region, you know, uh, and Coast Mountain College. So, lahat ng mga details that you need to know, um, like work, um, school, the location, you can find that sa Ami International Week 2022. And yes, as I've mentioned, our students, okay, um, students who have completed, especially yung mga Pinoy students natin, no? uh, our international students in general, um, they have job opportunities after, okay? They have job opportunities after their program. Now, emphasis ko lang din, for the post-degree diploma in business, this is actually uh, a mixture of the three concentrations. So, um, it's a mixture of the, the general management, human resources, and accounting all in one. 
Kaya madami din tayo mga um, students na post-degree diploma din yung uh, kinuha nila kasi nga it, it is something na parang talagang level up din sa kanilang career and their education as well. Okay, thank you for that, Miss Anna. And of course, um, yung sa post-degree diploma is um, uh, ad- magiging advantage siya sa mga bachelor's degree holder natin for business administration because uh, mas mapapadali yung sa kanilang um, justification for um, visa application. Oo, not to mention, Tino, um, not because um, kukunin mo ay post-degree diploma in business kailangan, business graduate or hindi. Actually, marami po sa mga Pinoy students sa atin, hindi naman business ang tinapos nila. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have their different um, work experiences not related to business. But because business is a flexible, uh, the, the business program, it, it's a flexible program siya. So, kahit saan tayong pumunta, kahit, sa, kahit saan corporate, Uh, corporation or companies there's business no so kaya maganda maganda then na uh, if you want to take advantage of that um you might want to opt for a post degree kasi who knows in the future um uh you would want to become a manager sa field mo okay or you would want to own your own business you want to become a consultant yung mga ganun, very flexible po ang, ang business uh, program natin. Okay, thanks for that, Ms. Anna. Uh, there's a question of for health or uh, post-degree diploma for health programs if available daw po for Coast Mountain. Oh, um, unfortunately, uh, the only, hindi ko masasabing health-related, no? pero under science program, The only uh, program we are offering for now for fall 2022 is the social service worker. Okay, so we have a one year and two year uh, diploma for that. Um, I'm really, really hoping no, in the near future we would have a health related program that we can offer for our Filipino students. But right now, um, SSW um, or social service worker ang in-offer natin. You know, um, SSW worker, po, pwede po dyan ng mga teachers, nurses, kasi community service po yan eh. No? So, um, if you are into that, and isa naman sa mga um, in-demand industry din po, social service worker, then uh, you might want to try our SSW program po sa Post Mountain College. Okay, thanks for that, Miss Anna. But um, sa tingin niyo po ba in the near uh, future or sa coming intakes natin, um, mostly uh, mag-open si Coast Mountain for health-related programs for international students? We are hoping. We actually... Um, Uh, in line na yan sa aking proposal no um, sa sa school um, kasi marami talaga interested no na mga Pinoys sa health related program um for this coming fall 2022 we will be uh, giving um, international student entrance award um uh, for limited programs such as yung university program, um, and university credit natin, uh, or associate degrees natin, SSW, engineering. So, um, we will update Gateway to Canada no, uh, for that um, uh, student entrance award na we will be giving out to um, 30 international students. So once they are already in Coast Mountain College and yung um, specific uh, eligible program na yun is part sila, then they can apply for that. Okay. Um, so yan, uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted. Okay, thank you for that, Miss Anna. Um, aside po doon sa entrance scholarship, Um, madami naman pong mga um, scholarship na ino-offer si Coast Mountain for international students um, once na pagdating nila sa Canada, right po? Yes, yes, yes. We offer bursaries and awards. So, um, you can check our website, Coast Mountain College, under financial aid. 
um, we have bursaries and awards for our international students. So they can actually, once nasa Coast Mountain College na sila, they can look for that specific award and qualification. So kapag qualified sila, they can apply for that. Okay, thanks po for that, Miss Anna. Um, so far po um, sa ating mga attendees and viewers, um, baka po may mga other questions or concerns po kayo para at least uh, ma-address po natin yan either um, about sa school for Coast Mountain College or if you have any concerns sa inyong uh, visa application. Okay, Tin, ano ka lang gano'n? Add ka lang mm -hmm. um, Yes po. So, uh, right now, okay, because... Um, Coast Mountain College was just introduced here in the Philippines about two years ago. Okay, so um, right now, growing na ang ating mga Filipino students, and um, most of them they brought their spouses or partners and even their children. They're the whole family, and um, they're they're saying talaga sa akin na they're happy that they are in their region. So, um, you know, if you are really planning to, to study and at the same time eventually live abroad, live in Canada with your, with your um, family, then it's a good, I think it's a good thing to think about Northwest region. You know? mm -hmm. uh, so, um, and um, British Columbia, uh, magandang province yan. And as I've mentioned, um, nag-i-increase nag ang minimum wage. So just imagine, no, last June, um, last year, 14.65, and then this year, uh, 15.20 na per hour. And who knows, no, um, in the coming months, or probably sometime early next year, mag increase na naman yan. So, um, we are actually, I know, you know, yung minimum wage ng BC, uh, mas mataas pa tayo compared to other provinces or other bigger cities. No? So, take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. That's good po. Um, so far po, uh, Ms. Anna, do you have any uh, final um, remarks na lang sa ating mga uh, future students para ma- uh, ma-pursue nila yung kanilang uh, studies as soon as possible for Coast Mountain College? Right, so, um, uh, again, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Gateway to Canada for um, inviting us over sa ating webinar and for our prospective students, um, those who are dreaming of um, studying and living in Canada. Um, it is really... Uh, it's important to really plan ahead, okay? Plan well, okay? Because studying abroad is not that easy, okay? So it requires a lot of time. And at the same time, it's a big investment, okay? So you really have to be, first and foremost, financially prepared, okay? Hindi po biru-biru yan, okay? Um, of course, be emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically prepared. Um, as I've mentioned, big investment yan, pero it's uh, kumbaga, beneficial siya, okay, in the long run. Because at the end of this um, goal, I mean, at the end of, of this uh, journey, ang gusto naman talaga natin is to really become, you know, a permanent resident of Canada and student pathway is um is is one of the best way. Okay. So um Gateway to Canada and uh, Coast Mountain College are hand in hand in helping you uh, achieve your goals. Okay. So um just reach us reach reach to us if you have any inquiries um, particularly Gateway to Canada message them um, if you have questions about Coast Mountain College and we'll be there to help you achieve your goals so thank you so much for this time and um, yeah uh, looking forward uh, to more webinars um, collaborations with Gateway to Canada and ngayon pa lang po 
we welcome you na po sa Ghost Mountain College for our future students. Thank you so much, Gateway to Canada. Okay, thanks for that, uh, Miss Anna. And uh, also, I just want to touch base and um, just a quick uh, to our um, to our viewers and to our attendees. If you haven't yet um, took our online assessment para at least malaman natin kung saan pathway kayo maging eligible, please visit our website. That's www.gatewaytocanada.com And then um, you'll just gonna need to fill out this um, online assessment. And then from there, makaka-receive na kayo ng information um, about sa uh, kailangan yung magiging next steps para at least mas makapag-start kayo for the assessment. And if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to book your online appointment dito po sa gatewaytocanada.setmore.com and then um, you may click or select the uh, online visa inquiries. And then you, from there, um, you may select sa ating mga um, case managers para at least ma-assist po kayo for your uh, visa uh, concerns. Okay? Um, again, uh, thank you, Ms. Anna, for um, accepting our invitation for today's webinar. And also thank you for our attendees and viewers na, uh, for your time in joining us this Saturday morning. And um, see you again next Saturday. Bye, guys. Thanks, Thank Susanna. You. Thanks, Dave.